In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to run the sale concept out of the Air Raid Offense of Madden 23. We're in the gun spread formation in the Buccaneers offensive playbook. This used to be, uh, I believe, the Cardinals playbook when Bruce Arians was the coach over there. So I wanted to break this down for you. Super simple concept today. If you want to get my entire Air Raid Offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is going to be in the description. Ten bucks will get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks including this spread offense. Now, uh, the play we're going to be taking a look at today is quick slot out. I'm one of my favorite plays uh, in the game because of how it does a good job of attacking man as well as zone from a spread out formation. So what we're going to do with this concept is ideally you want to run this with your post route coming from the wide or from the uh, wide side of the field to the short side of the field, as you can see right here. Um, now, on the back side of this, you can kind of have some versatility with it, but essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take our running back and put him on an out route. We're going to then take this slot receiver. You can kind of do whatever you want with him. Um, I really like to put him on a zig, and then we're going to put that left side receiver on a smart route, a dig route, as you can see right here. And the beauty of this concept is that it's going to attack the right side sideline really well. It also has some over the middle of the field pieces to it that can make it really good against any kind of double Mabel or any kind of zone defense. So uh, real quick against main coverage, the main read that we're going to throw is that corner route. Hopefully he'll actually catch the ball. Um, the main read we've got against man is the scissor action over here on the left side. You also have a backside dig. The backside dig, please don't sleep on that. It's a really valuable read against man coverage. But what you'll see here, he's going to light up. Sometimes they, they bump like that. Um, typically, that's when they are pressing. So real quick pro tip, if you're getting pressed and they're going to they're gonna play press man on you, this play can destroy press man because Tyree Kill, you want to have someone that has the short out elite ability. And as you can see, he's going to light up if they press him. And if you just put him on a streak – he will literally bomb that coverage every single time. So now what they're going to start to do, they got really two main options. The first one is really more popular. They're going to back that defender off or that defender is not going to jam. They're going to shade him up or something. When that happens, now my corner route becomes a lot more valuable. Now, the way you want to catch this is you want to click on to the player and you want to go ahead and make sure that you are agging back to the ball. That is super, super, super important, okay? You want to ag back to the ball. That's going to help significantly with any kind of KO or anything like that. Now, the second thing that I said is if they are pressing you like that, they're, they're, there's another option, and that is to take the safeties and basically use them as deep defenders. So we're going to put the safeties in deep halves or deep outside thirds, depending on the player you're playing. Now, because we have short out of lead on this player, you'll notice that this post route will get inside separation pretty quickly, and then he will literally just run the post. And as you can see, this can be a pretty nice little bomb over the middle of the field. So if, they're, if their safeties are fanning out like that, um, this the post is really the better route. If the safeties are continuing to dive to the middle or if they're playing cover zero, then you want to you want to put that streak on the field. Now you can leave this backside streak and then go ahead and take Alave here and put him on the dig. That's another thing that you could do if you wanted to. Uh, but anyway, I want to show you this one more time against press band and then we'll talk about zone and what this does. So you see here, his short out of lead just instantly cooks the man coverage and it's a potential touchdown, okay? So if they're gonna play press man, they will disrupt your timing on that corner route, but the best way to attack that is to either run a post or run a uh, or run a streak on that side. And now what they're left with is they kind of have to do this number. And now what that means is they can't really have help in the middle of the field. And so because they don't have any help in the middle of the field, now that route is gonna be killing them in the middle of the field. So you see how this, all works together. The, the best thing you could do to create a money play man is make sure that the routes actually work off of one another. That is super, super important. Okay. Let's talk zone coverage real quick. So zone coverage display is really designed um, to attack specific types of zone coverage. The specific type of zone coverage that this is designed to attack, I'm gonna put it fairly straightforward here, is when they're when they're having under coverage. What I call by under coverage, that means you if you look at this cover four drop, everybody's underneath. So I've got this guy underneath zone, I've got these two guys underneath zone, and then I have these four uh, deep blues, okay? This is kind of standard cover for a drop. 
the beauty of this play is it attacks a real weak and soft spot in zone coverages, which is typically the deep sideline if you have some type of pull route to pull the zone inside. So you see here, the post will pull the zone inside, you throw outside and you see that this corner route can be a, a really good thing for you against zone. The same thing happens in cover three. So like if I'm running cover three, now I've got instead of I only instead of only having four uh, underneath defenders, now I have five underneath defenders. So they'll take away the flat routes, right? But they're not gonna be able to take away the corner route. As you can see right there, it's a terrible pass lead, but you can see corner routes open. So that's that's what this is designed. So what they can what they can do though is they can play some cover two, right? They can play some cover two with some cloud coverage. And if they start playing cover two, what you're looking to do here is you're looking to attack the flat. There you have leverage to the flat. You've got to take your flat read. Really, really, really important. If they're going to run cover two where they're dropping these cloud flats on the field against you, you have to take what the defense gives you. And that is high lowing cover two in the flat. One of the most underrated pieces, as you see here, just throw the flat, turn it up field, get your, get your 10 to 15 yards. Super important to making your offense effective. Now, I will say, if it's going to be just standard cover two, um, I will show you this real quick. So it's just standard cover two. The, the post route to Tyreek has a pretty good chance of being open for a touchdown against standard cover two, as you can see. Okay, so against standard cover two, that's what you've got. Now, this leaves the last zone defense that you're going to see to be kind of the standard zone defense that people like to go to when you start to flood the sidelines, and that is the double Mabel zone. What this does is essentially you have an underneath defender to guard the flat, an underneath defender to guard the flat, you have a corner defender, and then you have a deep defender. Okay, and same on the other side. It's a, Typically a symmetrical coverage. Typically you're going to Mabel both sides. Sometimes people have been Mabeling just the wide side or the short side, but anyways. Okay, so that's that's the standard deal. What happens if you get Mabel coverage is the middle of the field here to the left should be open. You can take that dig right there, okay? You can take that dig right there. Now, if you're consistently getting Mabel coverage, you're going to run a different play. Um, you're going to run a different play, right? Um, if they're if they're consistently putting a ton of defenders, the amount of resources they have to devote to taking away this concept is pretty significant. So what we want to do is say, okay, if they're going to devote you know six to seven defenders to either side to the sidelines, then what we want to do is we want to throw the ball in the middle of the field. So one of the best ways to do that is to have some type of hitch route out route concept, something as simple as this right here. Uh, this is a super simple way to do it, but you can just take those hitches in the middle of the field, as you can see, okay? Last coverage I want to talk about with you guys today is match coverage. Match coverage is super popular. Um, how does this play do against match? Actually, does really well. Uh, typically, what you're going to see here is this corner route. You're just going to freeform that down and outside. As you can see, it's going to beat match coverage. Your post should be one-on-one. -on -one. This is another reason why this kind of scissor action is super good. Your post is going to be one-on-one. -on -one. It doesn't mean he's going to win all the time, but if he does get separation, as you see right here, that happens a ton this year. That happens a ton against match coverage. So match isn't too hard to deal with. Guys, I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to get my entire Air Raid Offensive ebook, make sure to join the Patreon. The link is down in the description.